door to the aircraft has been closed. U.S. regulations require all large personal electronic devices to be turned off and stowed at this time. You may continue to use your small airway devices. Please make sure they are switched to airplane. These devices must be unplugged from the outlets, secured in the seatback pocket, and placed in your pocket or held. If it becomes necessary, the captain Kennedy may traffic get blue turned off. Twenty two zero one is gonna be taxi into runway three one right coaching one three right via Foxtrot Alpha Papa Alpha. Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to yet another video. We are here in GFK and we are going to be going to MS MDST Airport, which is, if I pronounce it correctly, uh, Aeropuerto Internacional del Cibio or Cibio, not 100% sure. Anyways, I just wanted to do a short video of the departure. I've just changed my runway because everyone is seeming to go to 13 right. And originally, I was going to go to 2 to right, which gave me quite a long taxi and would have allowed me the opportunity to demonstrate single engine taxi uh, with the help of FS2 crew on the FS Labs Airbus. Um, it's not a common procedure to do with Airbus, but I just figured we'd do it for the heck of it. Um, it's not as straightforward as Kennedy traffic, persons might Tango, think Kennedy traffic, for the main reason that readability five. with Thank you. most aircrafts in the sim, the friction is off for P3D. So you'll find that the aircraft is all over the place. Um, there is a supposedly fix that never worked for me. That was by, I think it's pronounced Shrati, the guy that does the FSUIPC. And I've tried it, but it never worked for me. Successfully being able to do it with the Dash 8. I've also been able to do it with the uh, FS Labs aircraft. And you possibly might be able to do it with the um, the MD-88 or TFDI, I'm not 100% sure as I don't have those aircraft but those seem to be um, right up there with um, realism as you can possibly get given the restrictions of the sim. Anyways, everyone is on board so let's use the EFB to get rid of the jetway. for pushback as well. Final low sheet is here. We have one extra passenger. Great for the airline. More money. So let's get this show on the road. Before start checklist, please. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On auto. Adairs. Nav. Fuel quantity. Good day, Captain. Tux connecting now, so we'll be pushing back in just a couple of minutes. Confirm Take off data. Set. Set, please. Barrel ref. Three zero zero seven set. Three zero zero seven set down to the line. Locking the gear now. 
below the line. Windows and doors. Close. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Set. Before start checklist complete. Targ is in position and bypass pin is inserted. Ready to push. Apron now clear. Release parking brakes. Pushing now. All clear for engine start. JFK traffic at blue 2437 is pushing a start from gate Bravo 28. JFK traffic. So with a single engine taxi, instead of starting with the second engine and then starting the first, we do it the opposite way. We're going to start with the first engine and we have to keep in mind that we need um, a few minutes for the engine running before we can actually apply takeoff power. So we want to make sure that we don't start it too close to the runway, otherwise we're going to be sitting waiting for the time to pass when it's safe to um, apply full power to the aircraft. Start to engine 1. As part of our commitment to safety from the ground up, this airplane was just cleaned and disinfected, including tray tables, restrooms, other high Set parking brakes and confirmed. Also, see the Kennedy traffic, JetBlue 2201 is going to be lining up and taking off from a 31 right via the Kennedy 5 departure. 31 right or 1 tree right? So others can pass. 1 tree right. Smaller bags and personal items under the seat in front of you. Larger items may be placed in the overhead bin with wheels or handles facing out. If you're placing I'm a larger the bag in the bin, please make sure the bin will close before taking your seat. Larger electronic devices such as laptops must and be stowed to push been back reduced. under the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin. They may not be stowed in seat back pockets. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, you may be called upon to open the exits in the event of an emergency. If you are unable, unwilling, or feel you may injure yourself by performing the actions or functions, describe the left and right. Card. Disconnecting now. Know. Have a good flight. Bye bye. A different seat. Our Airbus A320 has eight emergency exits. There are two doors in the front, two window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with an evacuation slide that can be detached from the aircraft and used as a raft. All exits are clearly marked with a sign overhead. If necessary, floor level lighting will illuminate the aisle to help you find the exits. In the event of an emergency, leave all personal belongings and proceed to your nearest exit. Please take a moment now to locate your closest exit and remember that it might be behind you. If there is a change in cabin pressure, floor oxygen mass will drop from overhead. Firmly pull the mask toward you to start the flow of oxygen. Remove your face covering. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic band around your head and tighten using the straps on both sides. Even though the bag may okay, not have be so be sure to put your mask on first before helping others. I'm but not going to turn no off the APU. What I'm going to do is just turn off the APU bleed. And then I'm going to put back right. the engine so status to normal mode. Are put away. That's going to give FS to crew the queue to set the flaps to 1 plus F and you're going to notice here I have this warning for nose wheel steering now this means that I have to go up here and turn on the yellow electric pump and then that will disappear what happens is the brake accumulator is powered by um, the right engine I believe so with that off I have no way of breaking the aircraft so by turning on this generator that now gives you back the ability to stop the aircraft Christian 2201 is airborne passing 1905 on the Kennedy 5 
I'm going to do my checks here. So that's my rudder up. Down. Sorry, my elevator rather. Later on left. Later on right. And then for rudders, just to make sure I have um, authority with them. Left and right. I'm going to do this again during the taxi as well. But just to make sure that I have it from the beginning, I'll do it now. As FS2 crew won't recognize that it's been done as part of the list until I actually do it with the second engine on. Clear left side. Clear left. I don't think it does that. Okay. Alright. So everything looks good. It's fine. So we can start a taxi now. Now with other aircrafts. I think I have myself new. That's right. Clear left side. Clear right side. Check. That will explain why I wasn't listening. Okay, so with other aircrafts, you'll find that um, with the majority of them, that at this point the aircraft will be pulling ridiculously hard to the dead engine. There is still a bit of pulling, but it is much, much uh, more manageable with um, FS Labs. And I'm not constantly, you can see I'm giving a little play to the left um, rather just to make sure it doesn't pull too much into the right engine. But it's not all over the place like a hot mess. And you'll find that with most add-ons because of the friction of P3D it doesn't allow you to do single engine taxi now you don't want to be going too fast because you're still gonna have that right turning tendency into the dead engine so I try to keep it under 15 knots which is still quite fast but I've got places to go Now the other thing that you want to be mindful of is that most of us only use a single throttle system to control two throttles on an aircraft. So you want to make sure that when you are starting the number two engine that if you're using a single throttle system you want to make sure that your engines are idle both of them otherwise you're going to get warnings going off in the cockpit as well and when the engine does get power it's going to pull really really hard to the right as it spools up I actually need to turn back here because I made a round turn I got a little bit distracted so I want to be going in the opposite direction here, which gives me a little bit more time for starting my um, other engine. So what's going to happen now is when starting the other engine, I'm going to ask FS2 crew to do it, and they're going to turn off that generator up there for the yellow pump, yellow electrical pump rather. So I'm going to make sure that I'm back in idle, which I am now. Start engine 2. Am I still muted? Yes. Start engine 2. Check. Starting engine 2. So there's no chance of the aircraft pulling hard to the right now because all engines are idle. You see the electrical pump has been turned off. my EGT climbing
that's a good start on engine 2. Now that I have power on both engines, you notice that my idle speed has jumped up to 22 knots. Those are my packs on. So now I can kill my APU completely and not just bleed. Flight controls check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. I'll do the rudder when we come to a stop because of the speed that I'm taxiing at. Let's see if we can do it quickly. Clear traffic, Alina, do you want to for a vision? Rudder? Rudder? Sorry. Nah, I can't do it. Well, taxi. Start checklist. Anti ice. Off. E camp status. Checked. Pitch trim. 27% set. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. So I've got time to do my checks. Jeff get traffic, uh Jeff Blue 2437 is holding short runway one tree right to do some final checks. JFK traffic. Flight control check. Ready. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Check. Flight instruments. Check. Check. Briefing. Confirmed. 
Flap setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, Flex 10. V1 is 156. VR is 156. V2 is 157. Flat stamp is 70 degrees. Set and check. Set and check. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1 is 156. VR is 156. V2 is 157. Flat stamp is 70 degrees. V1, 156. VR, 156. V2, 157. Flex temp, 70 degrees. ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. Below the line. Take off runway. 1 tree right confirmed. 1 3 right confirmed. Cabin crew, approach path clear of traffic. Jeff K traffic, jet blue 2437 is lined up from where 1 tree right. Advice. Approach. T 1 3 T right. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? Affirm. Take off. Check. JFK traffic. JetBlue 2437 is taking off from a 13 right. JFK traffic. On runway. 1 3 right. Kennedy traffic, Alcala G, 48 Tango, it's Bravo to take, so push up. I 
have to take off claim checkers. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Set seatbelts off. And there you have it guys, um, that is how you do single engine taxi on an Airbus, whether it be Airsoft, FS Labs, um, if you're an X-Plane then you've got, what do they have, it's, it's not coming to mind at the moment, um, but you've got like three of them, no one starts with J, but for the love of God I can't remember right now. But that's how you do the uh, single engine taxi procedure. Like I said, it's not a common thing to do on an Airbus. You probably see it more often with a seven, uh, with a Boeing, especially the 737s. But it can come in handy for when you're navigating around really huge airports like Amsterdam or if you're doing vaccine events and you're all the way down the line and. Just bear in mind that even if you do these procedures exactly as I have done, depending on the friction coefficient of the sim and depending on the actual add-on that you're doing it with, you might find that you're better off just doing a normal taxi with two engines because the aircraft will tend to meander all over the place depending on how heavily it's simulated in terms of realism um, especially in P3D and FSX anyways hope you guys did enjoy that we did have a few hiccups with FS2 group but we got there in the end and I will catch you in the next videos take care have a great day and see ya